Hello everybody, my name is Thomas Mann and welcome back to Sakura Slutty Dungeon. So yeah, we're just gonna get right back into this crazy dungeon. Don't even know what's gonna happen anymore. This game is just too lewd. Too many lewds. Not enough combat. Too much walking. Another barrel. <laughs> the fuck? This just randomly comes up. You have gained experience or XP during your last battle. Thanks. XP is gained in three ways. Attacking an opponent, being attacked by an opponent, or when a character defeats an enemy. When an ally defeats an enemy, an opponent, all party members, including members in the back line and in town, and in town, really, gain XP. When fighting against opponents of higher levels, you will gain additional XP. When fighting against weak opponents, you gain less XP. Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? Of course. Mm -hmm. When a character gains 100 XP, they will level up. Oh. We stumbled into a bunny, that's why we're fighting. Should we catch the bunny? Bunny shit though. Drop slash this bitch. You can't beat me, bunny. Yo, she attacked me twice. Can you actually do two attacks and one 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 turn? Just leave this bitch with me. Three HP, five HP. Please! I don't want to get killed by a bunny. Jesus Christ. Getting messed up by a single bunny. We'll take a bunny. <laughs> we have captured a bunny girl. And we, you have found 10 mana shards. Good job. We, we <laughs> Good job. We have our first ally. That is one way to put it. But are you sure that a rabbit is going to be much use to us? You, under, you underestimate that rabbit. There are particular species I found in the wind set of plateaus to the north. While they seem harmless enough, they have a natural affinity with the wind. They can tear you apart without having to touch you themselves. What an unusual vicious rabbit. I suppose it's a good thing that they are on our side now. Very much so. Remember not to look down on anything you find in this dungeon. It can come back to bite you. You've captured your first party member. If you want to add her to your dungeon party, head back to town and click on Meet Capture Monsters at the main menu. Monsters you've captured would appear there. Would appear there. What, can we just leave the dungeon then? And go get a rabbit. Fuck the rabbit. Let's keep going. We just need Siri, because Siri will just... Event. Dun dun dun. Strange. I do not feel any fatigue while I'm down here. Monsters naturally recover quickly from wounds and tiredness. I've passed some of these traits to you from our contract. Well, I can't complain about that. There is no healing magic in this game. Instead, all party members re all party oh, all party members regenerate health over time. For each turn in battle, or for every two steps, a party member will recover health based on how much resilience they have. If a monster's outfit is damaged, their recovery rate is reduced by half. A monster's outfit is damaged when they take a critical hit, and their current H VP is lower than half of their min maximum VP. The resilience rating of your current current party members is fairly low, so be sure to visit town to recover. So I can just go back to town. Injured, injured and knocked out party members will recover all of their health when they visit town. However, damaged outfits will need to be repaired by Isabella. To repair outfits, talk to Isabella while you're in town. She may have other things to say to you as well. What can we just leave then? I don't know how to leave. Oh, do we have to just go back to the... actually go back? How's my party looking? Series 42 health. She's fine. And that is the first floor of the dungeon. I knew you could do it. Well, it is only the beginning. I can only imagine what is waiting for us down there. I would not think too much about it. After all, it is best to take things one step at a time. One floor. One step, one battle. Yes, I am very much aware. I do not know how deep this dungeon reaches into the earth. So I'm prepared for the worst. Go to the next floor. Fuck no. We've still got shit to explore over here. We've got achievement. What's some step? What is it? Clear the first floor of the dungeon. Cool. Okay, well, that's just a dead end. Oh, another bunny. Bitch. Let's just do a single slash this time. Seems to be a lot of grinding. Or we could just do auto. Oh, 
Oh, did you miss me? You did. Boom. Give me my XP. You found 10 more mana shards. You found a clash slash scroll. What does that do? What's here? Some symbols. Teaches the clash. Clash. Why am I saying clash? Claw slash skill. I'm actually losing. Can you even learn it? What does it do? Let's have a look. Claw slash. Melee physical. AP minus 15. Hell 12. Hit 120. Critical 30. Series of scratches made of course. It's just. Same as a single slash. Okay, we might just use it. Um, okay, now that we've cleared the first dungeon, let's right, let's go let's go back to the um, town. Let's just alter this bitch. Sorry, bunny one. Oh, oh, there goes your clothes. Yeah, we're still fine. Oh, yeah, we're good. Quickly run. Oh no, please no more bunnies, no more bunnies, no more bunnies. Wait, we can't just leave? How do we leave? <laughs> I don't know how to leave. Can we not just leave back to town? I would have to actually complete the full dungeon. I do not know. Hmm. I guess... Wait, warp stage, is that... Oh. To the surface. But the warps don't cost us money, so we can use it. Well, it didn't cost us money, but it cost 100 to buy, so. She has claw smash. Sorry, bunny. We could just farm these bunnies because they're so shit. I guess. Oh. Bunnies, you can't beat me. You're trash. Bunny ones. CP. Bye bye, clothes. <laughs> this game is the worst. I mean, the best. Does this hurt your eyes? Because I'm not looking at where we're walking with. More bunnies. Do we have any, like, repels like Pokemon? Oh, critical. She died. Good job, Siri. Just walk straight into the wall. Eh. Oh my god, more bunnies. Farm! Farming series, we're level 3. Oh, critical again. And there goes the close. Good job, Siri. Let's go to the next floor then. There's an event immediately. This dungeon isn't the worst I've encountered. If we keep up the pace, we'll be we'll be through in no time. You really should not say things like that. If you keep doing it, you'll become overconfident. When that happens, you'll underestimate the obstacles ahead. That is true enough, but even when I'm facing overwhelming odds, I have to stand firm. If I gave up so easily whenever I faced some trouble, what good would I be as an adventurer? So that is why you choose to keep fighting me instead of running away? Exactly. We both knew that there would be no way that I could win. It was obvious that you had the upper hand, but even so, I could not run away from you. That's nonsense, Siri. There was a less benevolent monster trapped in that seal you would have surely perished. No heroic sacrifices or anything like that when we're working together, okay? I want both of us to make it out of this dungeon alive. It's not like we're doing anything, Yomi. Very well. I will try not to. Thank you. As you go further down, the strength of your enemies will increase. Do not hesitate to retreat if you're having trouble. If you are, de if you are defeated, it's game over. This is, well, not like Dark Souls, but it's like one of them games. Literally, you die, you lose. I can't really think of any games because I haven't played any games like that. What enemies are going to face down here? Ooh, nothing so far. Another barrel. Touch the barrel. The barrel is good luck. Another level 1 bunny? Get auto, bitch. Yo, did she block? The fuck happened in that first time? Whoa! Good hit. Ooh, you just wrecked her. Good job, Siri. And there's another event. I can feel a monster's presence ahead. How can you tell? We used to place markers in the dungeon which were key areas to defend. Usually at crossroads and places like that. 
It seems like the markers are still being used now. So if we walk near one of these markers, we're sure to encounter resistance? Precisely. You will encounter battle markers as you proceed through the dungeon. Enemies that you find on battle markers can be boss monsters or random enemies that are a bit stronger than usual. If they are random enemies, battle markers reappear after you leave the dungeon. So there's a battle marker, so that's a tough monster. You can literally go around it. There's a chest. In this dark in the darkness ahead, I see a glint of silver. Silver? Silver? I can't even English. Silver. Why does that sound weird? So, I'm saying David Silver, that's why. Silver. Flickering in the dim light. Unfortunately, I'm not the only one who sees it. I definitely know what that is. Or I definitely know what this what this I definitely know what this. This translation. I definitely know what this is. With reckless abandon, Siri hur hurries ahead of the rest of us. It's literally me, it's just literally me, it's literally you two. Slow down. It's fine, I don't see any signs of a trap. Eventually, we arrive at the source of the glint. A treasure chest. With little regard, she immediately opens the treasure. Is it a mimic? A small vial of, vial? Vial of liquid is poured out from the chest. Oh, a healing potion. I was hoping for something that was a bit more expensive. It's still useful anyway, isn't it? Yes, I hope this one has a different flavour, however. There's different flavour healing potions, that's cool. Different flavour, you say? All the standard edition, uh, all the standard issue healing potions at the guild all taste like burnt kidney beans. Jesus, that must taste disgusting. You really do get sick of it after a while. She drops the potion into one of her pouches. You found a healing potion! Treasure chests such as these contain valuable items. Always be on the lookout for such chests. It can contain an item which can turn the tide of battle. Can we just walk back when that let make us go into the battle? Let's see. It does. It's just a bunny one. It's shit. Kill it. Auto. Man, it's dead. 47 critical. Jesus. Christ, sorry. I know we're level 3. Absolute owned that bunny. Boom, 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 boom. What was that about? Siri suddenly pauses. Strange. That sounds like something I've heard while hunting in the woods. It's a sound that only... She suddenly seems to realise something. Hug the wall! She smashes herself against the wall, narrowly dodging as something charges down the hallway. I step to the side and let it pass me. Ah yes, I remember them. What is it, Fox? Our assailant returns, scraping the ground with their foot. It's a fucking boar? What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh my god, more voices. I'm just going to do the bunny voice. Intruders! I'll make sure you don't leave here alive! She angrily puffs up her cheeks, obviously not very pleased to see us. A wild boar. Very tough and courageous. Spare me the commentary, Fox. She's getting ready to charge again. That's a fire fucking boar. Hmm. Do you want a boar? Do you want a boar? I should probably get a boar. Should probably slice this bitch. Ouch. Oh, she didn't even hit me for anything. Claw slash. Let's use our claw slash. Ooh. Ooh, there goes the clothes. And then we, we can't catch her because we don't have enough AP. There's 18 AP, which is 36. And then we can catch her. Boom, you're mine, right? There you go. Join my team when I go back to the town. Oh, God. Hmm. Sakura Dungeon. The ball gal collapses. Despite being obviously beaten, the ball gal still stares at us defiantly. Not, not bad. But you're going to have to do that. Do you, do you go, oh, I need better voices for girls. Or maybe I should just give a male voice for the banter. But you're going to have to do a better than that. It's time for the next round. Please just accept your defeat. Please just accept your defeat. You're obviously injured, and you're only going to make it worse if you keep going. I know boars are stubborn, but they aren't stupid. The poor girl just makes her cheese puff up. Ha! As if I would give up. All I need to do is take a nap and I'll be right back into the fight. She tries to get back up, but stumbles. I may not be ready right now, but just wait and see. I'll never surrender to the likes of you. Are, are all boys this thick-headed? Well, yes, they do have a remarkably resilient skull. 
How else do you think they recover when their charge misses their target? That, that, was not, that was not really what I was asking about. The boy stares at Siri. What about you? You need to swing that fancy swan around to win a fight? I can do it with my bare hands. Boars are also a species who are competitive to a fault. It is always a contest when a boar is present. You can't right now, actually. Prove that I can't. Siri just shakes her head. Is this exchange really necessary? You were never going to win an argument for boar, Siri. Why else do you think they brought? Uh, why else do you think they were brought into this dungeon? Monsters in this dungeon are frustrating to deal with. Hey, don't ignore me. And who are you calling frustrating? Try being a minion in, in this dungeon and tell me you're frustrated then. Yes, yes, I imagine being underground all this time isn't very pleasant. Damn right it isn't. These voices, I'm sorry. Siri, please use your catcher magic and put an end to this ridiculous argument. We have no further reason to keep speaking to her. Do we, do we really want such a disagreeable boy in our ranks, though? I'll show you disagreeable in a minute. Just, just let me get my breath back. Fine, I'll use it. You can deal with her later. Get captured. Siri casts a spell and the board dis disappears. Very nice work. A boar is going to be a great ally. You can always rely on them. It beats having them charge at you. So where exactly did these boars come from? An untamed forest in one land or another. I brought them because they are hard workers and are barely afraid of anything. Especially not of adventurers. We should head back and see if we can convince her to help us. I would not mind having a break soon. Can we go back though? We have 120 mana shards. So let's use the warp stone to return to the surface. And yes, we can meet captured monsters. We can get our bunny and the boar. Yes. I can hear a loud thump echoing over and over again inside the dungeon inside the prison. Sure enough, the boar girl is slamming her fist into the wall. She looks really glumpy to say the least. When she sees me, she practically rams the bars of her prison. Let me out of here, you nasty little ferret! Just because you beat me once doesn't mean I've given up. This is why I like boars. You just never give up, do you? Stop that! She slams the palms of her hands against the bars, denting them slightly. I can see her cheeks puffing up angrily, as if as is typical behaviour for the for boars. What are these damn bars? What the, the voices? What are these damn What are these damn bars made of? Please stop that already. I'm not here to start a fight with you. Then, what are you here for? Is it, is, it, is it to laugh at me? You better be ready for when I get out of the cell. Not at all. I'm here to propose an idea. An idea? She seems a bit less angry than before. What is this idea of yours? You look really angry. Even more so, even more than, so, than, more, even more so than most boars. Are you happy with being a minion in this dungeon? Eh? Well, I guess not. We don't get any time to leave the dungeon, so I get pretty angry and I can't do anything about it. I don't even know what's happening anymore with my voices. Then why not work for me? I will give you plenty of time off to frolic in the meadows. Plus, when we claim this dungeon, I promise I will be a much better dungeon lord than your current one. The ball seems to be thinking it over. Well, I'm still mad at you all for this. Mad, mad at you for all this. But I really, really, really want to spend some time above ground. This is going to be the ball voice because I just can't really get any voices. All right, Ferret, I'll play along with this idea of yours. Just point me in with, just point me in whatever direction I need to charge. With pleasure. I look forward to working with you. The poor girl has joined your party. Excellent. And now let's get the bunny girl. Yes. As I approach the holy cell, I hear a small squeak escape from it. The rabbit eyed fort stares back at me in fear. Don't, don't eat me. I was just following orders. People, pe people aren't allowed to visit. Calm down, rabbit. I have no intention of eating you. I'll eat you out. I'm joking. Maybe. They're a, they're a very high strung species. The poor thing has probably been frightened half to death. But, but foxes are dangerous. Really, I won't. If I was going to eat you, I'd have already done so already. Leap. Anyway, I came, to, uh, I came here to ask you something. Y yes? Would you like to work for me? Work for you? As, yes, as my servant. 
Well, the current dungeon lord is pretty mean, and the bigger monsters keep looking at me with their big predatory eyes. She shivers in fear. Oh, okay, I'll join you, as long as you don't eat me. I promise that I won't. My cute, lip my cute little subordinates only get the best treatment. The bunny girl has joined your party. To add her to your dungeon party, click on the organised party menu at the, at the main menu. Okay. Let's just organise our party quickly. Have we got all of them? Oh, how many do we have then? Eight? So we've got Siri, Bunny and Boar. Cool. But yeah, thank you for watching this episode of Sakura Dungeon. And I hope to see you in the next episode. So goodbye and have a nice day.